and i think today's topic is very very important because you know uh, today's session is live for both conceptual orthopedics and conceptual uh, surgical residents because this tumors the soft tissue tumors are very very common and uh, day in and day out we see them uh, in our opds most of them are benign like lipomas or some sebaceous cysts some sort of fibroma neurofibroma like that but you know one of the very important uh, my experience is that uh, we are not taught properly how to handle sarcomas the principle of managing a sarcoma is very very different the way by which we manage benign tumors like lipoma or other benign tumors like uh, cyst where normally you go just on the surface of the tumor and you do a marginal excision so today uh, in my talk i will give a brief overview how to approach a soft tissue neoplasm a soft tissue tumor and theoretically i will discuss the concept of margins in surgical excision how do we uh, decide the margins what should be the margin but most importantly how do we practically implement it and that is by way of interactive video and discussion that we will go through so i hope we have students from both cs and co and uh, i i would encourage you all if you have questions you can ask in between right so normally uh, we have the habit like whenever we see uh, this is most common mistake that people make whenever they see a swelling they directly jump onto it to operate that should not be the approach you should always diagnose it first what are you dealing with is it a benign type of tumor is it a malignant type of tumor is this some another etiology is it a vascular type of tumor is it a vascular malformation or some sort of whatever there can be different etiologies a traumatic mass like myositis so always diagnose first before you plan your treatment so a very important crux is when do you suspect a sarcoma normally if you see small tumors uh, 1 cm 2 cm you think it's a lipoma or cyst and you go in and operate under local anesthesia something but if you see any swelling that is more than 3 cm in size deeply situated which means deep to the uh, superficial fascia you must be a bit alert what are we dealing with is it something benign or is it some malignant tissue and in these cases it's important that sarcoma should be ruled out so like i was saying like a uh, uh, soft fluctuant mass here what you see uh, in the subcutaneous plane yeah classical of lipoma probably a simple ultrasound will help you looking at the lesion uh another similar lesion where it has a uh you see a puncta which is the eye spot from where some discharge is coming you know that this could be a sebaceous cyst but if the same swelling which is there and uh, you see that it is a bigger type of swelling say more than 5 cm or something then you you need to be careful don't assume so i think the most important never assume this is the problem which always happens whenever you just assume without proper work up you are going to make mistake and the mistake when we treat sarcomas it's a big blunder because it can cost life it can cost limb if it gets contaminated the surgery which could be a easily operable surgery becomes uh, a massive one you may need a flap cover in cases where you may not need i recently i operated a case where there was a small lesion in the wrist it was a sarcoma but nobody worked it up somebody thought it just a similar uh, ganglion cyst or something and went in and try to take it out and half was removed half was left because it was deeply situated and the final report turned out to be sarcoma so these things it changed the plan finally i had to go in i revised everything the tenants were sacrificed more than that 
Now the patient also requires radiation therapy because it was not done properly. And uh, a tumor which was less than uh, five centimeter and could be easily removable, removable with wide margins, but because of a contaminated unplanned procedure, now has to go for a bigger surgery, which includes even radiation treatment as a part of it. So I will discuss the basics and these basics, I think already many of you know that the first part in approaching any lesion is to form the diagnosis. And how do you make your diagnosis? Your diagnosis is made on three parameters. Your clinical workup about proper history, examination. So this will give you an idea how long the swelling is there, how quickly it is growing. Sometimes it, the patient may give history for five years, gives you a hint, could be a benign etiology or a tumor which was there for a long suddenly has started growing. May, may be a case of malignant transformation. So this history is very important. Sometimes the patient may say that the patient noticed a swelling after a history of injury, a myositis mask near a joint, quite a possibility. So a good clinical evaluation, history taking is a must. Second, our supportive investigations you can ask for ultrasonography, that is the basic minimum. If you ask me what is the gold standard, gold standard is a contrast MRI that will give you exact location of the tumor, uh, characteristic of the tumor, the relationship to the neurovascular bundle, everything. And then you have to correlate it with histology. What is seen on the MRI is a pictorial representation of what is inside. But finally, many a times, of course, this gives us a clue and we know what it would be. But many a times the picture is not as clear and it might be confusing. And so uh, if in either in bone tumors or soft tissue tumors, we need to do, we need to have a biopsy, a histopathological confirmation of the type of uh, histology. And it is not just biopsy. Sometimes we have to go for further testing with immunohistochemical markers. And in some cases, especially in soft tissue sarcomas, about molecular testing, uh, genetic, uh, the translocation studies like in Sanyuville sarcoma, Ewing sarcoma, these are helpful. So once you've diagnosed that there is a, a cancer or sarcoma, you need to stage it. That is the second part. Staging means to know exactly the spread of the tumor in the body. So we may use, depending upon the histology, we may use a PET CT scan, uh, which can tell you uptake in both marrow, bone, soft tissues, or in some cases, like specifically myxoid liposarcoma, where you know they metastasize to the spine or vertebral column, MRI may be good, or some tumors which metastasize to uh, nodes, uh, ultrasonography of the local nodes, uh, when PET CT is not available, you use the local nodes along with CT scan. Because majority of the soft tissue sarcomas, they metastasize to the lungs and many metastasized to nodes. So once you have done your diagnosis workup complete, you know the stage, then only you plan the treatment. So if you see your management part is the third part. Broadly speaking, the treatment of sarcomas, soft tissue sarcomas, uh, surgery is always the standard of care where you remove the tumor, but the new adjuvant or adjuvant role of Radiation and chemotherapy is very, very important. And that is decided once you have taken this proper protocol where you diagnose, stage, and then finally plan your treatment. 